Efforts to tame inflation appear to be working. The Labor Department says the inflation rate dropped to 3% in June. If this keeps up, it could clear the way for the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates. But not everyone is convinced by the latest numbers. Stephanie Johnson joins us in the studio with more. Steph. That's right, Dana. While President Joe Biden and economists are celebrating the newest numbers, some Virginians have mixed opinions about the economy. Overall, prices relative to what they were a month ago are actually going down. Uh, they went down about 0.1% in June. The consumer price index shows gasoline fell 3.8% in June. The energy index fell 2%. And the cost for airline fares, used cars, and trucks also saw decreases over the month. But some Virginians have mixed feelings about the state of the economy. I'm going to take the words of someone wise that I heard. I think it's trash. I'm still making good tips, good money, but the cost of living just so high, it's like it just doesn't even matter. The CPI also revealed the food index increased by 0.2 percent in June. On Thursday, President Biden tweeted his administration is making significant progress fighting inflation, but there is more to do. The consumers really, if they get their act together, they can control a lot of these prices. Peter Shaw is a Tidewater Community College professor emeritus of business administration. He says consumer spending makes up about 70 percent of the U.S. economy, and the state of it lies in consumers' hands. If consumers were to understand clearly that they control 70% of the spending of the economy and they focused on separating their wants from their needs and then reducing their wants by about 10% or more, they will have a huge impact on lowering the cost of living. And the goal is to get the inflation rate down to 2%, but that isn't the only thing Americans are worried about right now.